Page 87, prelude number 9. This is in the key of E major, four sharps. If you can do the scale on E major, this isn't too bad, because that's basically what this is, in triplets, sort of. Two four time, and let's take this really slowly here, and so we get our ha hands coordinated, because we're kind of connecting this. See those slurred lines? Those have nothing to do with articulation. Those are part of the triplet indication. So it's a little confusing. I would suggest you pretty much just connect all of this together as one long slur. Play it all legato. So it's here. Two, three. Get the, get the fingering in the notes first. Three here. And here. It's the same thing now, an octave lower. measure they're saying reach with your right hand and go all the way down to here I say nonsense bull just come down here I play that with the left hand why do I want to reach clear down there with my right hand look so I see no point to be gained there so just lift up and go down there if you want if you can you win you can play that and then next to the last measure rather than the second finger use thumb and then you can use second finger on the B, and then you can reach the E and connect them all. That's what I recommend. And once you have a handle on the notes and pattern that, that's happening, it really is every two measures is the same pattern in a different octave. Get, then do the triplets. Accent the first note of each triplet as you do this. Let's force the accent to start, and then after we get it learned, we can change that. But here. And then, once you get comfortable with that, then you go back and you just feel it because it's a natural accent. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Moderately loud, whatever, you decide what moderately loud is. They don't really give you any dynamics to speak of except moderately loud. You don't have to play the whole thing in moderately loud. Maybe you change it, maybe you decrescent a little bit. Get a little softer and then go back up at the next time and here. Or maybe you decrescendo for two measures and then come back to here. So you experiment with it. You don't have to play the whole thing at moderately loud. <laughs> then Vivace is really fast. Now it's slower than Presto, but when you get up there in that range, who knows what's going on. It's the feel of it. It has to be Vivace, not the tempo. So. That's my impression of Vivace for this. You don't have to play it that fast. You take it your Vivace. It's got to be even. It's got to be controlled. It's got to be smooth. That's all.